Hey everyone, this is Steven with Gravitate, and today we're going to be talking about five reasons why Google Data Studio is such an awesome tool. So we're going to just dive right into it and talk about the reasons why we've been using more um, of Google Data Studio for our clients and building out dashboards and kind of the, the reasoning and thought behind that. So reason number one that I love Google Data Studio is because you can put in multiple data sources into one place. You're not limited to just Google Analytics, but you actually get access to um, many different things, including Google AdWords, multiple different uh, display and uh, different ad channels, SQL, Search Console, YouTube, and then a ton of different third-party integrations that you can search if you're looking for more specific e-commerce or social media type of stats. You can probably find yourself a qualified uh, plugin or connector as they're called to make sure that you're getting all of those analytics into one happy place. So that is reason number one why I think Google Data Studio is awesome. Number two, my favorite part about Google Data Studio is the way that you can customize these dashboards. So this is just kind of a fun dashboard I threw together with um, some fake data from Google and we'll be sharing this dashboard with you at the end of the uh, video here where you can go ahead and make a copy of it and then punch in the right data source for your company so you can have a, something to kind of go off of as a template. So the cool part about Google Data Studio is that it really allows you to drag and drop elements, add text, similar to how you would in a Word or PowerPoint document where you can go in and click on these different elements, graphs, charts, and not only change what um, information you're pulling. So you, you select which data source, which would be your highest level source. So like think analytics or AdWords, you know, what, what source is this coming from? And then within that source, what do you want to display in this graph? You can break it down by dimensions and metrics. Um, so not only the style of, of graph or the chart, so you can switch it to a bar chart or a pie chart. Um, you can change the actual colors here, which is neat. So you can make it feel a little bit on brand. So you can click into these colors. Um, if you have a brand guideline that you want to follow, you can punch in the actual hex code right there and switch it up to get, make it any color that you want. Um, you can make it vertical, you can make it horizontal, um, customizing the title. So it, it's very, very granular on, on the levels in which you can uh, customize in Google Data Studio. And that's why we've been enjoying using this with clients. We can really tailor this dashboard to their needs. This particular dashboard I've actually built out in an eight and a half by 11 format. And that's nice if the client wants to be able to print this off and bring it to meetings and share and give updates internally, kind of uh, makes it very formatable for like a PDF or some sort of printout. You know, they could just take care of that really easily without having to worry about kind of wonky formats that you typically get with other dashboards. Um, and beyond that, I think that we're on to number three, which is you can share and collaborate on this um, just like you would on any other Google document. That's super cool because that means that you don't have to worry about emailing out a uh, report every month or getting any, waiting for that email if you're on the client side. You could look at this dashboard anytime you want. You just have to have access to the shareable link. And then, of course, you can set permissions from view to edit. Um, and then even more if you're concerned about people getting a hold of that link. Um, if you are old-fashioned, what you can do is view the document and save it as a PDF and then email it once a month that way as well. Um, but as far as uh, collaboration goes, it's really nice to be able to have multiple people jumping in there if you want to make a change to a metric or something's not quite looking right, so you want to be able to um, or, you know, change the color of something. You could have multiple team members collaborating on one project at the same time and everything, all the changes that you do are, are going to be in real time as well. So you can you know, revert into an old change or uh, make a save and, and make a copy of your own. And it's just how you would use a Google document. I find it really, really uh, good. It's just a really good thing to do. You know, a lot of these uh, 
platforms these days will only let you do one uh, login at a time, but since you can collaborate through Google Docs or Google Drive, rather, um, it makes things pretty streamlined. The fourth reason why I think Google Data Studio is amazing is that everything's in real time. So if you are sharing this doc um, and you check in on it in the middle of the month, these numbers are going to be up to date. And it really depends on how you want to set these filters up, which is uh, kind of a, a 4.5, reason 4.5 why I love Google Data Studio is that you can easily come into these filters and select, say, like the last uh, 28, 14, 7 days, go even further than that, and you can look at the last quarter, the last year, and kind of make comparisons that way. Another filter that you can use is type of user. So if you only want to see the analytics from new visitors or you want a combination of new and returning, those are all things that can be filtered in and filtered out from the dashboard. And all of this data, as you'll see, will just take a second to refresh, but it'll all be in real time. So these are real numbers from the last 30 days um, in our analytics of the, the looks like the returning users only. So that is all very, very cool. All of these tables and all of these elements here are interactable. So you can hover over them and, and get a better idea of what's going on. If you want to see more of this table here, you can just click it and once that um, updates, you'll be able to kind of filter through and look at all this information pretty easily. It's very digestible um, and yeah, very quick too. So the last reason why Data Studio is amazing is it's free. So we didn't pay anything to make this dashboard and you wouldn't have to either. It's just a matter of time. So Google continually comes out with these products that just amaze us and we're just like, oh my gosh, you're giving away all these softwares for free. That's super cool. It's just a matter of how you use it. So anybody can go to Home Depot and get a hammer, but you got to know how to, you know, nobody's, not everyone's a carpenter, if that makes sense. So we're given all of these amazing tools. It's just a matter of how do we use it. And that's um, what we're here to support you through. If you have any questions about Data Studio, feel free to reach out to us. And if you want a copy of this template that we put together, I'll make sure to put the link in the bottom of the video that you can click that. And once you receive that link, just go ahead and click this um, duplicate button right there. It will ask you which data source you want to use. Um, you can use the sample Google Analytics data for now, or if you want, you could integrate um, a new data source and add in a analytics um, source of your own. So hopefully you guys found that helpful and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.